Cisco Stealth Watch Enterprise 7.x web UI. We're going to investigate an alarm focusing on port scan, or that's the alarm that we end up investigating. So we're going to look at concern index. So these are hosts that are exhibiting multiple unusual behaviors over time that could indicate things like malware or insider threat. So we can see here that uh, you know the very top host 10.201.0.16 has a CI or a concern index of 830%. So we're going to investigate this one. We see the host name is server-016, which is definitely interesting, right? Um, and remember, this is taking flow data in and we're running behavioral analytics against that. Um, and it allows us to scale tremendously, right? Because uh, we're not doing full packet capture, although you could do packet capture in selective areas. And now we can see here, it's part of the host groups, domain controllers in Atlanta, we see the source, but we wanna look at the details around the observed uh, elements that triggered the event itself. And we can see here, the security events was actually a port scan. So port, port scan, the source IP has attempted to connect to an excessive number of ports on a target IP. And you can see here, there's multiple different um, targets, uh, target hosts that we see here. So from here, what we're gonna do is focus on this first event and we're gonna look at the associated flows for that event. And what's beautiful about StealthWatch is, is that when you did that, it actually already grabbed the elements that were specific to that type of search, right? So, it, you know, the peer is 143.205.64.52. Um, and the subject or the source in this case is 10201016. And you can see we're at 4% of the query. And uh, it's completed generating now. And we can see some of the uh, outputs here. So we can see UDP, we can see DNS, we can uh, manage columns here, right? So I've shown this in previous videos, but in this case, we're gonna remove a couple of columns because we wanna shrink the data and not have to scroll across. And we're not interested in encryption elements at this point in time. And we do that, we can see peer IP address. We know that because that's the peer or the associated flow that we're focused on. And we can see this is 53 uh, UDP, the application's DNS. So this could be, right, a false positive. This could be uh, something that is the behavior of the asset. And we might have to uh, ad ad adjust the actual host profile that's associated with it. Uh, but here nor there, this is just to give you an idea how you might want to go about your analysis here. So we can see the number of packets, um, both on the subject side, the peer side, and the total. We can look at this from a different view as well, right? So if uh, we wanted to, we could uh, change that view and we see the destinations Austria. Um, and if we're not having any association there that might be something that we wanted to dig in further now from here what we could do is we could pivot right into the host report so all we did was click the ip address of the subject and now we're going into the host report for that subject so it's going to give us a summary of alarms uh, the host itself traffic uh, based on peer host groups and alarm types that we might be seeing for that specific asset itself so we know very quickly what it's talking to on the inside of the environment, but we also see what it's actually communicating on the outside. Now, if this was a domain controller itself and it was communicating with some of those uh, destinations, we might be concerned about that, right? Now, again, you can see uh, the actual target host. There's multiple different target hosts here. Again, we can drop down that port scan and view uh, the details of what that port scan is. You see some internal hosts now are starting to show up here as well. We can view additional security events by just clicking view more security events. And again, we can see the source, uh, target host groups. We uh, Again, it gives you a nice description of, of what we're seeing. But obviously, everything that we're seeing here is really associated around port scanning. 
So we might, what we might want to do is uh, determine whether or not that asset's been compromised, right? So um, if this wasn't a behavior that we're expecting and we didn't need to tune the actual profile assigned to that asset, then what we'd want to do, our next step would probably be looking at the asset, running additional scans on that asset um, because maybe it's been compromised and there's their port scanning and trying to move laterally in the network. Again, you probably would never know that this is taking place in the environment unless you had a tool like StealthWatch. Pretty cool stuff.